Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I am going to share a different type of video. So I am going to show you the Nouveau Mousse by Tonic Studios and I am going to demonstrate different ways to use them as well as we are going to explore together the properties of this medium. Before I start, I want to let you all know that Tonic Studios were kind enough to send me these products to try them out. I have been playing with them for a while and I love them, so I decided to make a video. They did not ask me for a video and they certainly didn't pay me to do this. So let's start by taking a quick look on all the colors available at the moment. The embellishment mousse comes in this type of pot which is nice and white at the top which makes it really easy to use the spatula to pick up the product. Now there are widely available 12 colors and I'm going to show you all of them here. And uh, the truth is that uh, today I was planning to make the swatches for all the pots that I have, for all the colors that I have. So I thought uh, that it would be fun to turn on the camera and do that together. So while I am doing this job, I can also film a video and let you all know about the properties and how I use them. And these are all the new colors. 12 new yummy colors that have already hit the market and you can get them. And uh, just because I wanted to swatch them, I went ahead and created this uh, template. This is a template that uh, you can download from my blog and you will find a link down below. So I am going to open one pot after the other and I'm going to swatch them just with my finger. You can see that it's very soft. It's uh, like butter, I would say. And at the back, you can see the name of uh, the color. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of product with my finger and do a little dot at the corresponding box. Now, I, what I love about this mousse is the shine that it gives on your projects. It's uh, pearlescent and um, I think it has mica inside, which gives it a beautiful shine. Uh, it's really easy to clean up from your fingers. It doesn't stain your fingers at all. As you can see, I just wipe it off with a baby wipe. And uh, when they come, they come with this um, foil on top that uh, you need to peel off. In some pots, I just uh, peel it off completely. In some others, I am leaving it as it is. It doesn't really matter what you do with the foil. Just remember to put the cup back on. This is a product that will dry with time. Just remember to put the cups back on and uh, they will not dry on you. So I will continue doing all the swatches and playing with my mousses. I really had a lot of fun while I was doing that. And uh, the colors that I am swatching at the moment are the 12 ca colors that have been available for a while in the market. You will find links down below in the description area as well as on my blog to all those colors. But if you are starting out your collection now, I would suggest to get definitely one from the gold shades, one from the copper shades. And uh, if I had to pick just two from this uh, set of 12 colors, it would be definitely be the aquamarine and the pink one. They are by far my favorite colors from this uh, set. So now I am going to go ahead and uh, start swatching the next uh, uh, 12 colors. Now you can see that on these colors I don't have labels just because they are uh, samples. But when you get the product you, it will come to you with uh, the labels and everything. So I continued uh, filling in my chart and uh, here are all the colors together. Now they have come up with 12 new colors that uh, really complement the whole collection. And if again I had to choose just two from this new collection, I would definitely go with uh, Burnished Bronze and Pacific Teal. They are gorgeous, gorgeous colors. So don't forget you can go to my blog and download this chart for free. Now I'm going to show you five different techniques that I like to use when I am applying my mousse. So the first one is to use the spatula. And just because uh, this is a pot with a wide open area, it's really easy to pick up the product. Use any type of uh, spatula, either plastic or metallic, whatever you have. What I love about this it's not, is that it's not runny, so it... Uh, is easy to spread but at the same time it keeps its shape so it's a not it's quite easy to apply through a stencil and it doesn't go underneath the stencil if you understand what i mean so i'm going to peel it off now and you can see the result 
I hope you can see the beautiful shine that it has, which is going to stay even when this is dry, and uh, it keeps its shape and it's nice and leveled. So you can also apply the product with the spatula directly on your project, especially when you are doing mixed media, just like I'm going to do that here, which is going to give you the ability to create some texture wherever you want to. Now, the more product you apply, the more time it needs to dry. So you need to leave it aside for a while. Now, I'm going to do the same thing on a black uh, cardstock just to show you the, difference, uh, the different uh, looks that you get depending on the background. Now, this is uh, going to look even more vibrant against the black background. I'm going to apply just a little bit so that you can see the difference. Oh, and by the way, as uh, I am demonstrating uh, the product, I am using different types of stencils. If you love them, you will find links down below in the description area to those as well. So you can see how vibrant it looks, and again, you get that beautiful shine. Now I'm going to apply it with uh, my spatula directly on top. If you can see how it picks up the texture, because this is a textured uh, cardstock at the background, and it really looks different than on white. Another way to apply your mousse is by using uh, a spray. So I'm going to create my own spray, which is going to be a pearlescent spray. It's going to add shine on my projects. So I can pick up a little bit of product and uh, you can go, uh, really there is no formula for this. You can add as much as you like. The more you add, the more pearlescent the spray is going to be and the more color it's going to add. Now I have already added some water inside my little spray there. I'm going to shake it nicely to make sure that all the product is uh, diluted in the water. And by the way, the color that I used is uh, Pacific Teal. I have already prepared another uh, color, which is Peony Pink. I did that on a card that I shared a while back. And now I'm going to spray with both those sprays on two different colors, on white and black, so that you can see how it applies on different um, backgrounds. Now I am going to peel it off and show you how it looks. You will find that it uh, gives a different uh, result. So on the black one it looks more vibrant and more bluish while on the white one it's more of a pale blue. And I am going to show you the result once they dry. So for now I'm going to flip them over and at the back I'm going to try the pink uh, spray that I have created. I am cleaning up my stencil and I'm going to place it again over those two cardstocks and spray again. And again you will see that you get a different uh, shade on uh, depending on which cardstock you are working on. So uh, by using your nouveau mousses you can create beautiful pearlescent sprays and uh, that can add shine to your projects. And as I sprayed directly on top I hope you could see the mica spreading out. Now I'm going to leave those cardstocks to dry and I'm going to show you now how they look once they are dry. They give you a beautiful effect. And I hope you can see the shine. And you can see the different uh, looks that you get on different uh, backgrounds. So if you are a spray kind of girl, if you like to use your sprays, this is a great product to create your own pearlescent sprays. Another way to apply the product is just with your finger or with a blending foam. The color I am using is citrus green. And I'm going to apply it through a stencil by just using my finger. It's very easy to apply just because it's like butter. And when you apply it this way, then you don't get as much product as you did with a spatula. So you end up with a flat effect. And you see how beautiful it looks against the dark background. Now I'm also going to use this blending foam. And I'm going to do that again. It's quicker with a blending foam than with your finger. And again, you can see the difference, how it looks against a black background and how it looks against the white one. Now, another technique that you can do when you are applying it with a finger, it's to just go all around the edges, which is going to give you a distressed look. And of course, you can do the same thing with a blending tool if you don't want to use your fingers. Although again, it doesn't stain your fingers at all, just a baby wipe and they are totally clean.
Now another way to use your mousses is by watercoloring. So I'm going to use them to color my flowers. I'm going to stamp a flower and a leaf there just to demonstrate how they work. Just because the mousse is a water-based product, you can dilute it with water and you can uh, just pick it up with your brush and color in your images. By the way, I am stamping with archival ink on a piece of uh, watercolor paper. I am using archival ink just because it's going to dry permanent and it's not going to smudge or smear when I apply my water. So with my spatula now, I'm going to apply a little bit of color on a acrylic block. And this way I am actually creating my palette. You can go ahead and apply as, much, uh, as many colors as you like for coloring your image. And remember, it's better to apply a little bit of uh, paste on an acrylic block to create your palette rather than dipping your watercolor brush directly inside the pot. Because if you do it this way, then it's going to transfer water inside the pot. So as you can see now, I am just uh, picking up the color and coloring inside my flower. And uh, what's great about uh, this technique is that you're actually creating your own shiny watercolors so when uh, this is going to dry it's going to be nice and shiny and very pearlescent i'm going to color in all the areas here i'm not doing any shading or anything just basic coloring to demonstrate the look after it's dry i'm going to make sure that everything is nice and dry i'm going to try to catch the light for you so that you can see how beautiful it looks with all that shine And the fifth way that you can use your embellishment mousse is on your mixed media. So you can uh, use your brush. This is a totally dry brush to do dry brushing. So I'm just picking up a little bit of uh, the mousse and applying it on my object there. And uh, this way you can uh, use them as if they are patinas. It colors and it adds shine at the same time. You can leave it to dry and then move on to the next color. Or you can apply the color before the previous one has dried so that you can blend them directly on top of your object. I'm going ahead and adding uh, two or three colors and um, even gold. And uh, once this is finished, I'm going to show you how it looks. And again, remember that this is dry brushing. I haven't uh, dipped my uh, brush at uh, water at all. These are totally dry brushes. So this is how my embellishment is looking at the end. Shiny and with different colors. And once it dries, it doesn't wipe off. Perfect for your mixed media. And since we are playing with the mousses, let's find out if they are permanent when they dry. So I'm going to apply a little bit of color with a blending foam and uh, I'm going to apply it in both these areas. You can see how beautiful it blends. You can uh, create beautiful backgrounds for your uh, card making as well as for art journaling. So anyway, just because I have fun playing with them, I am going over with a stencil. And I'm going to do that for both these uh, cardstocks. And just because I am applying just a little bit of uh, product, it's going to dry super quickly. Now it's totally dry. And with a water brush, I am going to try to move the color. And as I am trying to do that, you can see that it is permanent. It doesn't wipe off. And I'm going to go over it with a wet baby wipe and you can see that it doesn't move the paint. I'm even going to spray and I hope you can see that the droplets come totally clean. So it is permanent when it dries. Now I'm going to apply some matte medium over it just to make sure that it doesn't smudge or smear so that I know if it works for my art journaling. I always like to do this type of uh, testing when I get a new product so that I know exactly the properties and how I can use them. Which means that they are safe for using them as backgrounds on my art journaling. And now I want to find out if they are porous to see if I can use my big brush markers over them for my shading technique that I do on my art journals all the time. So I'm just going to directly apply a little bit of... Uh, 
ink with that marker and you can see how beautifully it blends, although I haven't applied any matte medium on top, which means that it, the, the mousse is turning the paper into a non-porous surface, perfect for my shading techniques. And I'm really happy about that. But if they don't react with water when they dry, can I still do the ghost technique? I am going to try out now. I'm going to apply again a little bit of product on a page and I'm working on a mixed media paper by Ranger. And now I am going to apply a stencil and with a wet baby wipe I'm going over the stencil to see if I can lift a little bit of that mousse. And it works perfectly fine, but remember this wasn't dry, I didn't leave enough time for the product to dry. Now I'm going to use my heat gun, I'm going to make sure that this is totally dry and then I will try the ghosting technique again. Based on uh, the testing that we did earlier, this should dry permanent, so it shouldn't move the paint. I'm going to try it anyway, making sure that everything is nice and dry. I'm going to apply the stencil again on top and with the same baby wipe, nice and wet, I'm going to try to lift off the product. And you see that it's nice and permanent now. So to conclude, this is a lovely product to have in your stash. I love that you can apply it with a spatula, you can make your own sprays, you can use a finger or a blending tool to apply it, you can even do water coloring and even use it as a patina with dry brushing. And here are a couple of examples. This is a card that I have created with lots of shine. I have used a stencil as well as a spray for the background. And I have also used it on a mixed media canvas. I have uh, added some stenciling at the back. I hope you can see the texture that I got. Also, I have colored the sides. And also that brass that you see, that uh, dimensional element, is uh, done with dry brushing. So I hope you had fun as we were exploring all the properties of the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. And if you like this kind of videos where I am reviewing a product and showing you different ways to use it as well as exploring the properties, let me know in the comments below. And if you need more inspiration, here is a video where you can see Nouveau Mousse in action. Thank you all for watching!